to start screen. Ah! Alright, new attempt. New attempt. <laughs> uh, let's go! Exactly. What record holder, by the way? Yeah. Yeah. Uh. It just so happens I had the small screen. I mean, there's no size restriction, right? For accepting a run, and I'm like, mm hmm. However, yeah, let's go. So this is Big Boss, played on original difficulty. Uh, challenges to have no extra alerts. We get eight um, boss down alerts. Hey, hi, star. And um, sadly, like, we do not have any wiggle room. We can only use one ration, and we are forced to use the ration at the end of the game, so we also technically cannot use the ration at any other point in the game. So, yeah, the game's a little tricky about that, right? It's a little bit tricky. You gotta play very careful. And then even if we play everything right, play super careful, another problem, there's the problem of RNG there. Because we have to go through the desert three times, there's three chances that we can get poisoned, and um, getting poisoned is basically game over for Big Boss. So here we go, we're gonna do a safe number one. Just right here before second floor. And we are allowed to load saves if you made that save during the run. Alright, so since I'm making saves anyway for the community, I'm also allowed to load these saves just in case I mess up. <laughs> Which hopefully won't be much. Hopefully. Oh, I'll probably will see. Gonna go over here, we wait for the camera to go out of the way, then we go back. And then we go down. Trouble is with so many things on original difficulty, so many more of these guards are actually full floor alert guards. So if they see me, it's really dangerous. We cannot get any health back unless we get the rank up of which we only have three. So well, that's not much. And uh, yeah, as I said, like it's very tricky. Gotta go over here. We're not gonna save the POW there. We are going over to grab the level 2 card first. There we go. It's something I started using today. I don't know if it is faster, but you can leave the room and come back in again to set that death pin. Death pin? Uh, sorry, a little bit earlier. I'm gonna punch that guard here. We have to wait for the right side camera to go out of our way or else we cannot continue. And now we can actually grab the level 2 card. Which we need here. Punch this guard to go out of the way. Stay down here at the bottom. So the guard can't see us and we need to wait for the camera to move out of the way. Punch this guard and as soon as the guard is at the bottom, both will turn. It's a very easy timer to follow and then we can move on. Now we have to go back all the way again to the post gas room to now save the POW and then get the RC missiles. It's funny, Big Boss is the only category where we actually are going to use the RC missiles. There you go, grab them from here. Be careful that we are not getting caught by the camera. And then walk over here to a discard. Open the door, go back to the gas mask. We don't want to go into the gas room without having the mask on before. Because uh, we have still only 20, yeah, 24 points of health. And we lose so quickly our health, it's insane. We are down already to only 16. Because each time when we're in the gas room, it costs us two points. And we have to get two ticks. So we lose in both directions once at least four points of health already. We're down to 16. Getting shot on original difficulty also takes eight points of health from us, not four. So it's another thing in there. We're gonna put on the level one card, go over here, and hopefully just get touch damage. And there we go. Go down here, hopefully we're lucky again. Get touched and ignored, don't get shot. Ooh, there we go. So yeah, we get touched twice. And that already costs us four more points of health. We're down to 12. Good thing is we are getting soon our class up. And then we're good to go. 
I recently explained almost every round you do. Is it for world record video purposes if people can learn something already? To be fair, I mostly always explain my runs just so I practice them as well. I practice explaining them and I practice also memorizing them at the same time. If I talk to myself the whole time and explaining it both for the audience and of course myself, I also have an easier time memorizing the route. That's why, especially when I do a new game that I'm not that familiar in yet, I'm also explaining the game probably even further. And yeah, it's it's mostly, um, it costs a lot of energy IMO. So I really only do this for the first run of the day. If I do multiple runs uh, during one stream, I probably won't do it for the next one. But especially for the first one, it really helps me to just memorize everything again. <clears throat> Speaking of memorizing, we gotta wait for the cameras, switch to the level 1 card, wait for them to go enough away, and then save the POW to the left. Make sure that we don't get seen from these people. And there we go. Oh yeah, I also think that um, if I explain runs, especially like one-shots like this, I personally think it also helps new people to understand what I'm doing, especially if they are not familiar with the game. Trying to keep it, you know, like basic, simple to understand, stuff like that. Right, gotta make another save. Because we have reached another checkpoint. And as you notice, every time when I save, the IGT actually stops. So if you were going to do a big boss speedruns and time it via IGT, it wouldn't actually be that bad. Frankly, saving and loading would make almost a lot of sense. Because and when we fail, we just load the same save we made during the run, right? And the IGT also gets reset. Basically, almost safe scumming, multi-segmenting our way over there. Of course, it's way more impressive if you do it in a single segment. But that is really stressful. Right? <laughs> it's really stressful. So, I'd rather do this. And again, I mean, I'm only doing this run really to make the safe file slash memory card for the community. But, I mean, I'm here, so I might as well go for... Big boss, and there we go. That is shot maker done. Now we're doing our early bomb strats that I explained in tutorial. Like in tomorrow's tutorial, but I recorded it today. This video won't go out until tomorrow though, so it's fine. <laughs> Gotta play some early, stand still, and then walk. Anyway, these dogs will never reach us. They are actually very nice. I've been seeing people run original and they were so afraid of the dogs biting us that they shot them the entire time. I'm like, no, that's not necessary. Stop the abuse. <laughs> these are very nice boys. They're good boys. If you know how to treat them well. You can manipulate dogs to go off screen and they know, never come back. They actually despawn. And the cool thing is, if there's no dock on screen and you switch screens, uh, there won't be a new one spawning unless there's already one like this one on the top right. So for example, if I go now to the left side, bottom left here, and both docks run off screen, they will actually both despawn and we're good to go. So you can just delay a little bit and you're good to go. I was slightly too high there. There you go. You can't see your own stream to see this run? No, it's a joke run. It's not serious. I'm making saves for the community. Don't watch this. <laughs> see how much time I waste just making a save here? <laughs> Gonna be an insane. But I do hope to get the big boss rank in the end, and I will reload in case I fail. <laughs> so, yeah, we'll see what's up. Uh, but, welcome, hi. How you doing? Alright, so this is critical. We have to wait here for the camera to go past the box so we can slip by the box before the camera comes out at the bottom again and then we can make our way past here. Now, instead of going left like any percent and 100% do, we're gonna take the safe way because we are not allowed to get a new alert. So we have to take the path here through the lasers and get on to our next POW, which is here. Take that guy. Over here, switch to the salt machine gun. And there we go. We gotta kill Shotmaker. Yeah, da da da. Uh, but, 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 yeah. There we go. 
We're not allowed to use any rations, so we have to make do with what we got, and 24 points of health is certainly all we have. If you do get shot once, it will be disastrous. Alright, let's make it past this guard without being seen, save this POW, and then make our way back again to the top. And again, each checkpoint I reach, I will make a save. So, if somebody wants to learn and load saves, they have an easier time. Alright, going back here, the same way we came in. These lasers, thankfully, are static. They are not changing. And then we just walk off screen, hopefully. Ah, uh, he did fall asleep. That's fine. And there we go. Set so a menu here while we wait for the camera to come back again, so we can slip by without an alert. And that's another checkpoint reach. Let's go. Now we have to go to the first roof, and on original difficulty, if going for Big Boss, all these roofs are actually... They're bad. <laughs> like, really bad. <laughs> <laughs> what are you posting about? What are you thinking about? <laughs> so we go over here, just needed the bomb blaster for this one occurrence, we gotta wait for these to turn. Once they are turned, we're safe to go left. And then we go over the bridges here. He fell asleep as- oh yeah, he did feel asleep. He might dream this, he might dream of you. Oh. So here's the actual floor wide alert, the first one that we're forced to get. Hopefully we don't get shot, it looks good for us. There we go, and we keep our 24 points of health that we absolutely need. And we gotta kill the hind here. Very easy. Just go off and shoot points. Alright, time for us to drop off. Remember to use the parachute. Who doesn't dream of me? Good question. And there we go. As soon as we land, we're gonna make another save. Because this is another checkpoint here. There we go. Onwards we go. Walk down here, hopefully don't step on the mine, wonderful, because on our way out, we have to go here, we have to take this damage. Thankfully though, we're just getting our class update now, we're now at POW number 10, so the good thing is we are not worrying too much. Mine's not right, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so, I will pick up now the um, body armor, just because it's easier, although you know what? Actually, we're not we're not gonna do that. Tell you what. This is after all basically a multi-segment run. So if we are too short on health, we just reload the save. Building one is fairly safe, right? As soon as we reach building two, things are getting hot. There's so much RNG in building two. That 40 points of health that we do have right now, we will not keep much of it. And already we got shot from the tank too early and I'm gonna load the save again. God damn it. Because <laughs> technically we're not... We can't afford to lose health. You see, that one shot from the tank cost us 16 points of health. Yeah, it's good. It's a very good line and it's fairly free on any percent. Alright, we got shot from the tank here. Thankfully only small amount of damage. But still 8 points are 8 points, right? From the SMG. And then we go in here. Make another save. And again, we make this save so we can share the memory card later for the community in case somebody wants to learn and load via memory cards. The good thing is actually it makes sense to um, share a memory card even if you run an emulator because uh, even on emulator you only have so many save states that you can use. A memory card can use actually way more saves than the emulator has save states, so it's kind of useful to us. Yeah, it's very nice for learning. We have any percent saves already up on the SRDC page on the resources. And I'm going to do the same now for Big Boss slash original difficulty runs as well. And I'm doing them five times. <laughs> and as I said, uh, while I'm here, I'm just gonna go for Big Boss and I will reload the save because... It is allowed that we're using saves that we made during a run. However, we're taking this to a new top. Any mistake we do here, we can just reload the save that we just did. So, there we go. Alright, we reset the guards. 
go back again here. Don't go into the deep water. We want to keep all the half that we have. 32 points. It sounds like much, but trust me, we're getting now to hell roof and it won't be much. We might save and load especially a few times until we make it past hell roof. Because hell roof on any percent slash easy difficulty, right? That's a joke. We say this because, you know, big boss runners call this hell roof. And I will show you how it looks like. You can see on the screen, I have 32 points of health. And this will probably melt very quickly. And it's really luck dependent that we keep as much health as possible. Now, I don't have the body armor, right? So that means any, any shot I take is taking away 8 points of health. If you go for single segment runs, you probably want to use the body armor. It retains so much more health. We're already down to 26, and I think we need at least 12. So let's try to get touched as often as we can and not get shot. This looks good, 20 points, I think is enough? Let's hope for the last run. If we do get shot in this last room once, it's over. And it's over. It's over. We need, I think, at least... We need to open three doors, right? Each time when we open a door, we lose two points of health. So we open three doors times two, and we lose health two times. So it's actually times four. We need 14 points of health at minimum, or else we cannot continue. So... As we got down to 10, we don't have enough health, and I do have to load the safe and try again. This is why single segment big boss, especially without body armor, is so much hell. Bullets fly at random against your head, and you can't do anything. Once you lose too much health, it's over. There's a few things we can do here, trying to be stealthy, trying to save our health, but god damn it. It's not there. And I got... Like, I, I punched a guy, but certainly he still touched me. How unfortunate. Oh, I just made it past this. Okay. Alright. Let's hope we can make it this time. Just walk up here and basically give me touch damage. Don't shoot me. Alright, 20 points. Please don't shoot me. Anytime I get shot now, I have to reload again. Alright. That's fine. And 18 points. We made it. We can continue. That is just enough health so we can continue on. Ideally, we have much more health, but it is what it is. We're making you safe. So, once again, this safe is just for the community. If I ever do serious big boss attempts, just for my own sanity, I will probably make a save before Hell Roof. Because this, it, it, this is just terrorizing. I don't know how much patience we have to have to restart over and over again, right? But it's it's a lot. Now, one cool thing about big boss is that we actually have the gas mask because we're not allowed to use rations. So we can go just like this here, but we don't need to worry about our rations in our inventory. Go to the door with the level 1 card and already we're down 4 points. As I said, every time Every time when we enter a door, we lose 4 points of health in total. And I just lost 2 more. Oh my god. That's not mess up. Over here. We're down to 4 points and we're not allowed to touch this guy. So, what can we do? Well, thankfully, we have this SMG here. So the second time he goes over there... I'm just gonna kill the fire trooper and we're good to go. I'll make another save just because we made it this far. Thankfully. We're down to four points of health. If we get, you know, like any shock damage or touch damage from the brats, it's over, so let's hope we're doing fine. We should though, we should. Just go over here. And then we're gonna be clean here, we're gonna go right and immediately down. Punch this bottom right guard and then continue. We want to go here and stay in the center actually, because these brats can touch us and will kill us. We want to be here as early as possible into the right. I almost walked into that guard. Thankfully, I didn't. <laughs> and we're good to go. Now we gotta go over here. This is our 14th POW. We're gonna make our way towards number 15 and hopefully not get seen. Oops. 
I'm gonna wait here at the corner, punch that guard, and now, there we go, here's a rank 4. Or class 4. Now we gotta call Jennifer, and I sadly died once. The resets actually are frequency, it's fine. Now we gotta punch this guard, like all three guards technically. And hopefully don't walk too far in any of these so they don't, us, don't see us. Oops, that was the wrong one. Alright, grab the rocket launcher and then get the hell out of here. So we are actually going to get ammo. And normally in any percent, you know, and all of a cutty goes, fuck, I have to reload a save. This guard saw me, that's one alert too many. <laughs> but I'm pretty gonna explain what I usually do. So, um, yeah, there's no other save. So, usually we uh, would go down to the underground again and then get ammo from there. <laughs> but yeah, sadly I was going down one pixel too far and somebody saw me. Oh no. <laughs> and we already are at two alerts. Like, again, the two alerts here, they are mandatory. We cannot avoid them anyway, so that's fine. We'll get eight in total. But yeah, <laughs> can't do much about it. And thankfully for Big Boss, we're allowed to make unlimited saves. So making the save file here for the community <laughs> at the same time is also a legit strategy if you really want to push it, if you're really worried about not making it. <laughs> Alright, let's try this again. I can take it slow as well if I want. First, we're gonna call Jennifer. Punch this guard. Go right. We are aligned with the top. Alright, there we go. Grab the rocket launcher. Uh, 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 da, da, da. Punch. Hopefully don't go too far. I can also just wait here for the guard and then punch him there. As we can see here, it works. I have to wait for this guard to turn around and then we're good to go. <laughs> we ever punch that guard or wait for him? There we go, he fell asleep. So that's fine. And now we have to go back to the underground. There is no death abuse that we can use because we are not allowed to kill ourselves. We have to do it with zero deaths, so that's why we go back down again. To the underground. And we gotta get ammo from a spot that's so far away. It's so far out of our way. I, I actually like that we can use that farming in order to get ammo. I'm one of the few people that's super thankful for this, but yeah. <laughs> alright, alright. So, <laughs> Jaguar King's big boss run already would have been here, uh, like close to the building free the second time. We're struggling to get past this. So, that's that. Oh, I'm gonna go over here. I also missed my chance to grab ammo in the desert that's actually on me. Um, you ideally want to grab the, des the, sorry, the plastic explosives in Desert 1. Also, I'm grabbing way too many rations because we're not allowed to use these rations. We're just allowed to use one, so that it's kind of pointless grabbing more than one. <laughs> also, I didn't make a safe when we make it past the floor. That is on me. I will actually make the safe now. Because it will make the safe at the elevator entrance. I have to remember to actually make these saves. As you can see here now, the safe uh, has an IGT of 1655. As I said, as we enter an elevator, that's when the checkpoint is being set. Alright, let me quickly check. Do I have 15? I need one more pack. Uh, ooh, ooh, gotta reload. Alright, we have enough plastic explosives to finish the game. We just need to get one more pack of rockets and we're good to go. Now we just continue on and thankfully we killed the fire trooper. We don't have to go for him twice. Because I... <laughs> and any percent if we just ignore them and we go here, we have to do it twice. Oh, there we go. Now we want to go here to our level 2 card before we get into here. Because that's the next card that we need uh, on top of the brand's room. The time to make a new safe. And there we go. Alright. 
back again to the floor where we just visited and now it's time to kill these rats with four rockets. Hopefully, it will work. We go here, we gotta go to the bottom. One, two, three, four. This one will touch us, but that's fine because the top one can actually not touch us if we stand in this position. So, yeah, we lost a chunk of health, but it's actually okay because we only got it from one rat. The other one, oh, actually we can we can just call Jennifer. I forget if we don't die, it doesn't reset. So that's an <laughs> that's an eighty percent brain thing I just did on Big Boss because we're not allowed to die. The frequency will not reset, and we don't need to call Jennifer from the safe list, but we can just instantly call her. Nice. What am I doing there? All right, time to go and finally make our way out of Building Two. We barely made it. Uh, I'll grab that. One five card. I'll turn around. Fall asleep. He didn't fall asleep, but it's fine. Saves me. Ah, now he fell asleep. Are you kidding me? There we go. Get our entrance to the end. We made it. Okay. Phew. <laughs> it's time to leave building one. MG1 feels sedated when MG2 exists on the same hop and has so many more features. Absolutely. Absolutely. MG2 is 100% the better game, however, I personally enjoy speedrunning MG1 more. Because it's way more compact, way tighter. Like, it absolutely... <laughs> it is constant action, and that's what I personally really like about MG1. MG2 has way more flair, way more story, way more complexity, but tell you what, I still love MG1 more. Alright, so we have to make our way now out of Building 2. And it's gonna be tricky, because we have to go in here and do this. Hopefully, we don't get poisoned. I'm gonna make it safe right away here. Just in case, so you really don't want to get stuck here. You don't love following Mr. Green Barrett? <laughs> yeah, especially not an NTSC. I did that this weekend, and it's absolutely horrible. All right, let's try to get through the desert here without being poisoned. Get the fuck away from me! Okay, we can make a pass here without shooting. <laughs> Fuck, he got me! I hate these scorpions. I fucking hate them. <laughs> I guess it's good that we can just load the safe that we made, but god fucking damn it. And I got poisoned again. This is what I mean. This is why MG1 Big Ball is fucking sucks. Because the desert pass is so bad. Or maybe I'm bad. I don't know. I mean, you, you tell me. There we go. It shouldn't be that hard. I could just react faster, but you tell you what? These fucking scorpions, they frame one fucking attack me. <laughs> this is why I personally hate running Big Moss in MG1. Like, I hate it. Okay, get away from me. We made it. First run, we made it. Two more to go. Oh boy. And we're gonna make a save as soon as we enter the building, because why? Because I'll tell you why. Here's another point where Big Boss can just die the rank. Because as we go to the wall and open it up, if one of these guards stands on the C4 and dies, that's a kill on record. And we're not allowed to get any kills, so wish me luck. Do, 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 do. What? All right, all right, there you go. We did get shot, but we made it. Ah! <laughs> Don't forget to make a save. What is worse, scorpions versus mannequins? I mean, look, for any percent, both of them don't matter. Um, for big boss attempts. Mannequins is straight up RNG. You enter a room, you get an alert, you're screwed if they're wrong. Scorpions, at least you can do something. So I would argue for big boss attempts, technically scorpions are better than mannequins. 
right? Because at least you can do something about the scorpions and try to get away before they poison you. Because the mannequins, they are spawned in the room at random locations and it can happen, you just get seen. And you, at least you have, right? At least you have more alerts that you can use. But that's not many. And we already have routed in one alert that we willingly will take. Do we need to make a save here? I kind of don't think so. I will make a save um, on top of the elevator before we get out. I would need to remember um, what would be ideal. I mean, we had a save when we go down. We literally just go down, grab the oxygen tank, and get up again. There's really no point in making a save there. I would wager it. Let me go inside again here. So we make a second elevator save here. But now this time we have the oxygen tank. So if somebody wants to play from the safe, I would argue that would make much. Well, yeah, would make more sense. All right, because then at least they can go down immediately and try to get away. And here's another force alert for us. There's another force alert on us. And now we just need to make it past the desert here. And like, hopefully we don't get poisoned again. Scorpions have a tendency to walk to the bottom right. Usually. If we just wait long enough. There we go. They will sort of naturally make their way out of our way. And there we go. So going down kind of hits nicer. I want to say. <laughs> now, there's no checkpoint here at the bottom, but there will be a checkpoint as soon as we get um, to the top. So that's why I'll make the next save. And I mean, so far, it's looking good. <laughs> we have two more alerts that we will take. One will be before entering building free and one will be at the entrance point of B3. That's when we have the eight alerts we do usually have. And, um, don't let me lie, it's the level 1 card and we need the arson missiles now, so... I don't know if a new will be made if I go here and there. I'm just gonna make a quick save here, it's fine. If it's not with the ideal menu skills, I guess that's... okay. Alright, just gonna save this. And then go here, and then destroy... Lever. Now, what do we want to do here? We want to grab more rocket launcher ammo, and because time literally doesn't matter to me, I'm going to grab an extra package. Usually, usually, Jesus, usually we just want to grab six packets. Nope, just press, not eight. So we um, only have as much as we need, and then technically every other would be a time waste. So, got to get over here. Got to do Dirty Duck. Get the level 8 card and get out again. Now destroy the button again because we cannot use a rash and we have to make this clean. Get down here, punch this card, discard, and then put on the tank. Alright, so far so good. Now we just need to make our way back again through the desert the third time. I mean, for a single segment, ideally, still don't get poisoned. We'll see how this one goes. <laughs> and then we just need to finish the game. Only oh, finish the game. It will be fine. It will be fine. Over here, and I will use the machine gun. Make another save for the third visit. And actually, we can see here, there's one segment missing from these splits, where it split one time too many. Interesting. I might need to add a segment here. <laughs> Alright, let's go, let's go. Cool. First try, first try, first try. And I'm poisoned! I'm literally poisoned! I killed the scorpion, they still poison me! <laughs> what is this? <laughs> Alright, at least they stay away from me now. Poison again? Are you kidding me? <laughs> Dude, if I was seriously going for Big Boss, I would definitely always make a save before 
hell roof, I will make a safe every time before I go up this stupid desert. This is absolutely stupid how quickly a run can die. And I'm not joking. Good thing we are not going legitimately for big boss rank, so we're just gonna make it past here. Ow. That shot wasn't ideal. Alright, we have 14 points of health. I hope that's enough. If not, we have to go back and start again. Make our third save here on top of this elevator, and then we can make our way forward. This one is as bad as less lethal. Oh, that one has a squeaky sand. It has singing sand, indeed. What? Are you telling me we only have 20 saves? Really? Really? We only have 20 saves on PS2? Okay. I might have to go back and omit one save. <laughs> Okay, okay. Tell you what. We made it this far. I'm gonna delete the second desert um, save. It's fine. And I will do the rest of the game in one segment. Buy a new memory card. Good idea. I mean, technically, I could just use the second memory card, right? But I want to have them all at once. So I gotta remember when I'm making saves for Big Boss. I might have to omit one or two saves. Like... Yeah, maybe the second building free top elevator save or something like that, you know. Yeah. In any case, I'm making my way downtown. Off we go, fighting Metal Gear. Here to the low 8 card, going over to the gas mask. Exploding another wall. Because I feel like it. Property damage. Done. Gotta go back here. Gotta watch out, there's one mine on my way here. Alright. This is the one time we can use the rash and make it count. Make it count. Alright, and the TX-55. <sighs> I like to live dangerously, I guess. Ah, uh, I almost made it. <sighs> Alright, we have so much health, we're gonna do the any percent version of Big Boss, so that'll be it. There we go. And that is Big Boss, done in MGX. Here's to PAL. Of course, we're going via RTA, so, yep. That's that's a bad time, but it is Big Boss. There we go, 38, 26. And yeah, we are limited to only 20 saves, so... It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> I might have to redo one or two saves. I might do a second memory card. I don't that was the only run we do today for this, like this. I will spread it out over the course of the week. Now we go to the credit screen, we'll see the rank hopefully, and we will um, actually go and do Metal Gear 2 next. Doing piece to pale any percent. Yeah, there's not that many people because, um, I mean, it's a fairly strenuous single segment run. Um, technically, this is multi segment, but we just put them all in one category on the boards right now and. Um, yeah, it's, it is stressful. Uh, huge respect for runners that do this, that put themselves through single segment MG1 big boss attempts. It is rough, as we saw today. And we'll probably need to spend a lot of time practicing in order to get good enough to have a chance of doing this single segment. However, I personally don't like that. I'm an any person runner. I want to go fast, no matter what the limit is, right? So, it's a different kind of challenge, it's a different kind of 
speed run, I personally think. It's not the same taste to me, and I respect those that do. And because this run is speed run, you know, like technically allowed, like it's a legitimate run for the leaderboards, I can post it. However, I mean, like, <laughs> if the game would track not how many saves we make, which, as we've seen, will be 21, um, but if the game would track how many saves we load, that would be an interesting statistic. Then you could brag like, yeah, I did single segment. Look at my loads. Loads zero. However, the game tracks actually how many saves you make during the run, which is arbitrary. It doesn't impact the rank at all. It's unlimited. Save making is not included in the ranks. So as we will see, despite making 21 saves, like it will be a big boss. I gotta, I gotta change something in the addition info here. This pal, platform PS2, PS2 pal. There you go. Alright. There it is, big boss. 2814 INGT. 3826. RTA. <laughs> uh, making saves for the community, right? Like, the fun things we do. But, again, yep. Yeah. It is what it is. New PB by High Star. Oh, that was 5 a.m. I actually verified that one. I was like, oh, did I get a new one? That's ah, actually not that. <laughs> All right, we're going to come back tomorrow and do NTSC. I will think about how I want to tackle the saves for the memory card. I might as well just do two memory cards. Like, whatever. I will just provide them for the community and the resources and people can pick and choose which safe they want to include on their actual memory. Oh yeah, there we go. <laughs>